won't challenge Dad for leadership, so Dad will stay the boss of the pride. And although they won't kind of come into their full, true, glorious self with their big fluffy mate, it does mean they can still to stay together as a family, and it is quite nice to see the boys interact well with their sisters. So lions live out in the African savannah, where temperatures can reach up to 40 degrees Celsius, so very warm. And lions aren't built for the warmth. They spend about 16 hours a day sleeping in the shade. When they're not sleeping in the shade, they are out hunting. Boys and girls, they don't think, if you could just put your hands up, you think it's the males that go out hunting. What about the females? Yeah, exactly. It is the females that go out hunting, and they'll go hunting in packs. And they'll hunt things like zebra, antelope, and large wildebeest, um, and go out together to bring home the dinner. When they do bring home the dinner, it is actually dad that gets to eat first, even though he wasn't involved or involved in the hunt. Then the females, then the youngsters will get whatever scraps were left. Hopefully we've got a friendly keeper on the uh, balcony who could make way for her so she could throw the snack in for our lions today. It is just a snack, so don't worry if the boys don't bother coming over to it. They know they're going to get their big evening meal later on. and can be heard up to five miles away. So if you're staying at the caravan park or you do live in Kessingland, you might get woken up in the morning by a lion alarm clock as his roar is that loud. He also likes to patrol his territory. You can see there's a path around the enclosure. That is from Zero patrolling his territory, making sure there's no pesky lions in Kessingland coming to steal his family away from him. He also likes a scent map as well, so if you are by the fence later on and he does come up to you and he's bumming the air and he's telling you, take a step backwards and you just find a scent map and keep it as well as the fence. And then you will go home and stand very, very strongly on the line weight. So lines were thought to be widespread for our active. Over the last 20 years they have been declining. And one of the reasons for this is habitat destruction. Habitat destruction means they're getting closer to people and people are going to more drastic measures to try and protect themselves and their livelihoods. But by coming here today, we're not having us a charity that we support called the Lion Guardian, which actually follows the Kenyan Maasai warriors. So traditionally, you to kill lions as a right of passage, but now we want to do a bit to help protect them. And we didn't realise how important that is. It's a really nice form of circle. Thank you very much for joining me today. a bit further. We have six different kids activity booklets. We have 50p, every single penny goes to our charity. We've got lots of fun activities. 